Hey, it's your boy, Sirs Dragon, and welcome back to another edition of the Heaven's Monsters Podcast. With me always is T-Money, King of Puppies! There you go. And last Friday night was Crown Jewel. Let's give you the results. First up was the premiere of Hulk Hogan, making a surprise return, and of all places, in where? Where was this? In Saudi Arabia. There you go. It was a surprise. Everybody was cheering for Hulk Hogan. A lot of people love Hulk Hogan, despite whatever what was going on. Or maybe it's because it wasn't about them. It's about what he loved, the whole... Hulk Hogan thing. Racist thing. Yeah. In the kickoff, though, we did see Shinsuke Nakamura fight Rusev. And Shinsuke got the win. Sad, sadly to say. Mm-hmm. As a result, he will be going on to fight. Uh, Seth Rollins at Survivor Series, Intercontinental Champion on Raw versus United States Champion on SmackDown. Who is the better middleweight? Even though that's I'm saying, that's what you've said. I'm yeah, like uh, every well, every champion versus ch- champion versus champion match. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And next on that list. I think it was the first match. What was the first match? Well, I got here. It says Triple H and Shawn Michaels versus. Oh, that's last. That was last. That was last. Okay. The, the, I can mention some things, though. The United States title, uh, Rusev. Yeah, we did that. I talked about that. Randy Mysterio versus Randy Orton. Mm-hmm. In which that match ended in disqualification because Randy Orton just went AWOL. Just went crazy. So Rey Mysterio advanced. Next. Oh, yeah. I think it was Jeff Hardy versus The Miz. Seth Rollins versus Bobby Lash. Mm. And Seth Rollins got the... Uh, when advanced. Mm-hmm. We're going to make this a quick one. Next. Right. Between The Miz and Jeff Hardy, it was The Miz who did an underhanded tactic and got the win. And then from there, we had uh, Dolph Ziggler versus Kurt Angle. Yeah. Thanks to Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre gave uh, Dolph Ziggler the help he needed to get the drop on Kurt Angle. And then it was Seth versus... Dolph Ziggler, again, Drew McIntyre helped Dolph Ziggler. Yeah. And once again with The Miz, he cheated against Rey Mysterio. Ultimately getting in the win. And then finally, it went on between the two. Seth Rollins for Monday Night Raw and The Miz for Tuesday Night Smackdown Live. In which case, something unexpected happened. The Miz, while jumping out of the ramp of the ring injured his ankle and Shane McMahon was trying his best not to have this match thrown out Mm -hmm. so in this case something happened that a lot of people didn't anticipate Shane McMahon put himself in that match just ignoring everything else and abusing his power and putting himself in that match, fresh as a daisy, while Seth Rollins was all drowned out. And before that match start, they had Drew McIntyre thrown out of that match altogether, all the, in that ring. So with a coast-to-coast, Shane McMahon became the first ever world, uh, world's best cup. World's greatest or whatever. World cup. Best in the world. That's what it's called. Best in the world. Cup. And he is, he's turning heel, isn't he? Yeah, that's what he's discussing it for him to do. He's hogging on to that trophy. We saw that. Then, of course, before that escalated for the finals, we had freaking Baron Corbin blindsiding Braun Strowman with the title. And Brock Lesnar took advantage of that. Although, 
He did get the win. It took a lot out of him. Yeah. It took five F5s. Five F5s to put down Braun Strowman. Not the first, not the second, not the third. Five altogether because Braun Strowman kept getting out. And Paul Heyman could not believe it. But Brock, Brock just kept going until it finally worked. Damn. He didn't stop. Nope. As for that, the storyline, hopefully, for AJ Styles and Samoa Joe has finally come to an end. Thanks to the fact that AJ Styles and Samoa Joe put each other through so much hell that they actually was able to get the win finally. And I believe it was, uh, it's not a calf crusher this time around, like he did at, at the Super Power Beat, as uh, Super Showdown. It was a, they, I don't know where Styles clashed to get the win. Did I miss anything? Uh, we'll be right back. Go ahead and hit the uh, Monday Night Raw because the only match that was left was New Day versus The Bar in which The Bar got the win. Thanks to the assist of Big Show blindsiding Big E while the ref was not looking. Got that KO punch <gasps> off the ropes in which he wasn't even part of the match but he made himself and uh, Sheamus got the bro kick. Additional, damn, I'm surprised he didn't have a concussion. Big E, I mean. Now moving on to the Monday night conclusion of all that craziness. Starting off with uh, the show starting with Baron Corbin and a huge amount of security and addressing the Shane McMahon skeptical, uh, him winning. In which case, uh, next week, we're, I, I thought Stephanie was supposed to show up and give her comments, but she didn't. But she's supposed to show up next week. Yeah. Although, we do know for a fact that she won't be in the team, but she will be the co uh, coach or leader, I guess you would co uh, call it, captain. There you go. The captain of the Women's Raw ba uh, Survivor Series. So, so far, wait, I don't think she has anybody yet. Well, that's not anybody yet. Yeah. So, that's that. The tag team division, alternately, uh, well, first, let's see. Let's go down the list. Okay. Uh, I mentioned the first thing. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, freaking Braun Strowman chased Baron Corbin throughout the whole building. I get to that later. Go ahead. Okay. The Char Charlie, whatever her name is, uh, interviews Bailey, Sasha, and Natalia, and Natalia puts on the, her father's sunglasses on to honor her father. Yep. In which they fight the Riot Squad, and the Riot Squad, I think, got the win. Was uh, Miranda or no? Yeah. And, and uh, that's not what Ruby Riot did. Mm -hmm. That's what I was about to mention. Say it. Go ahead and tell him then. She broke Natalia's father's sunglasses. And Natalia was shocked and started crying. Yep, it was the last thing she had of her father. Ruby Riot is going to bed. Oh, she's going to bed. Just you wait. In which case, next on the list. General Hall versus Apollo Crews. Apollo Cruz versus Jinder Mahal. Well, I, but you know, everybody call him, everybody, but you can't call him Cruz, call him Apollo. Apollo! Cruz! Cruz! Apollo Cruz! 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 Apollo Cruz getting the win after such a long losing streak, and poor Jinder Mahal is still going down. Gender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maharaja. The Maharaja. The modern day Maharaja. Ain't getting no love on Monday Night Raw compared to what he had on SmackDown. 
think that is. The reason why he got love on SmackDown because he got he was a champion. Mm-hmm. Next. No love for a heel. Seth Rollins versus the AOP for the WWE Raw Tag Team Championships. Yeah, I told you he still had them. They're not vacant. No, he still they, had no, them. No, they, that's what they're planning. They said they vacated. They did, they did. But they told him that you can hold the belt, but the titles are still vacated. Ultimately, he came into the ring with three title belts. Yeah, they said he can hold the belt, but he's yeah. not a champion. But then Baron Corbin announces that he's going to defend it against the team of his choosing. And I told you they were going to be champions. I just didn't think it was going to be I knew, this I knew, way. I, actually, I knew they were going to be champions. AOP. Arthurs know. of Pain. Because remember I told you that they had been held back and they got Natasha just like the uh, Ascension? Yep. Who be the Ascension? Get a title shot after Survivor Series because since they're going to be the champions, they're going to be fighting the bar. In which case, this is going to be interesting with Big Show behind them, as well as the bar already being pretty strong as it is. Ooh, this is going to be interesting to see. The bar versus AOP. Woohoo! Next. Poor, poor thing for Seth Rollins, though. Okay. Did you mention the Ambrose? Just... Yeah, after that, yeah. Dean Ambrose came in there and beat the living hell out of Seth. He had questions, but he didn't finish asking the questions. They were all wondering why. Still don't got an answer. Even his wife, Renee Young, doesn't know. Next. Charlie interviews Corbin, and he says he's not afraid of Braun Strowman. Bullshit. Bullshit. He would be hiding then if he wasn't scared. And he says, you just told him where we are. Corbin! I'm Corbin! <laughs> Next. Dollar comes out and makes his way to the ring. It says that Shane Man is not the best in the world. Dollar says he is the best in the world. Elias erupts and sings to him. About losing a hit to Shane. <laughs> Told you he's becoming a fan favorite. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, <laughs> Elias beats uh, Seth. I mean, uh, Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> that's that's a new low for Dolph. He went through all that and then he loses to the guitarist. Mm -hmm. Damn. Next. Kurt Angle is being interviewed about it to go to Survivor Series as the Raw team captain. Oh, yeah, that's right. Baron Corbin made himself the team captain, but he's not wrestling because of his general manager position. And he had already put on the men's Raw Survivor Series, Dolph Ziggler, Drew McIntyre, and Baron, I mean, Braun Strowman. Even though Braun Strowman is chasing his sorry ass all over the place and he's not equated with uh, Drew and Dolph anymore. And Dolph just lost a match, so maybe Elias will be in the match and that's just going to make chaos. Especially with Braun Strowman the way he is right now. I think, I think we might see... Um, Interesting draft, draft, where Braun Strowman wearing the red T-shirt and all of a sudden strips it to show blue. Maybe that, or he's just going to screw over Raw team and still be on Raw. Um, Who are the other two competitors going to be? We'll wait and see on Monday Night Raw. And uh, Nia Jax versus Ember Moon. Mm-hmm. Nia Jax versus Ember Moon once again. But this time, Tamina comes out, interferes the match. And ultimately, the two Samoans unite. As a team. Or at least we think so. Next on the list. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? We're not done yet. I know. You put down the phone. We're not done yet. Finn Balor is interviewed by about Bobby Lashley. And calls Bobby Lashley the most powerful man he's ever been in the ring. Yeah, see. 
Lashley, shut up. Shut up, shut up, Leo. Shut up, Leo Rush. Man in the hour. Man in the... And, uh... Him and uh, Battler fought, right? Who won that match? It was Bobby Lashley. Damn. Look at look at Baron Corbin's size to Bobby Lashley's size. Do you know Baron Corbin? Not Baron Corbin. Finn Balor. See, I'm not the only one to get it mixed up with these names. Yeah, Finn Balor. They all spelled the similar. Well, look at Finn Balor's size to Bobby Lashley. You know Bobby Lashley was gonna win that match anyway. Hmm. Also, we can't forget, we got a shout out to our boys, Xavier Hill and Mike Henry. They're, I will set, put a link in the descriptions down below to their YouTube channels. Because I want to mention this. We have not seen Kevin Owens in a long time. He's been AWOL. Where's Kevin Owens? I heard he, he, I heard he left, so I heard <gasps> Xavier, Kevin Owens left. <gasps> That's what you heard. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm sure. I Are heard. Sure? I heard. I'll say you like John Cena. Are you sure? I'm sure. I wish I could peel this thing right here and show John Cena's face. <laughs> Overall considered. The fact that we have no Kevin Owens means no rants from a boy Xavier. Ooh. Who will Xavier Heel rant on now? Find out on his video. <laughs> oh, otherwise, um, what's next on the list? Cobra is being angry once again. Oh, this is the last part where he runs the hell out of there and, and freaking. Braun Strowman almost gets to the vehicle to stop it and do his monster thing, but nope. Baron Corbin got out of there fast. And, uh, <laughs> he got... <laughs> he got, <laughs> got exposed again. He got snitched on. He's like, you did it again! You just told everyone where I'm at! Strowman! Corbin! I'm not better for you! <laughs> You know he's gonna get his hands on him. You know he is. You know he is. He's gonna. He's gonna get it, man. We didn't see Brock or. Oh yeah, that's right. Seth Rollins said it before he got screwed over. Brock Lesnar is not even at Monday Night Raw that night. Mm -hmm. Hey, he's got things to do, bro. He got. He's. He's probably training. Training. Or spend time with his wife and children. Well, we don't have to wait too long for his next appearance. He might show up on Monday Night Raw next week. Yes, yes, he is. He is. He is definitely going to show up. But we'll definitely see him fighting AJ Styles at Survivor Series. Champion, world champion versus world champion. Can't say if you guys say world champion state champion, bro. They no, also, they're world titles, no, heavyweight no, titles. I know, I'm saying that they doesn't consider they don't call it a world title. They call it the championship. You guys see that they did? No, I'm just calling it a heavyweight title versus heavyweight title. Top, but top. Yeah. He means uh, world champions that they champion, y'all. Universe. Yeah. The title everybody helps. Hates. Yep. I said helps. What the hell is a helps? Nobody said that. Me neither. <laughs> helps. Uh, everybody hates. Everybody hates. Anyway, they next on they, they said it looks like a girl's title belt. That's what, That's what they say. Yes. Looks like a red velvet title belt. Much I think that's what it is. Red velvet leather. No, it's red, bro. It ain't a red velvet. Just red. Red strap. Ain't red leather. Drew yeah. McIntyre versus Kurt Angle. For all the marbles, ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Angle not only fights to be put into the Raw uh, Survivor Series team, he also fights to be captain. In which case, Drew McIntyre, as we all know, fought Kurt Angle numerous times while they were both on Impact Wrestling. In which case, it showed. 
Sadly to say, Kurt Angle did not put up a fight. It was all Drew McIntyre that whole time. Insult to injury. Salt on the wounds and ego and pride of Kurt Angle. Drew McIntyre actually used Kurt Angle's two famous moves. The Olympic Slam or Angle Slam. And then finished him off making Kurt Angle tap out with his own submission finisher, the ankle lock. Kurt Angle will not be a part of the Raw roster Survivor Series team. Damn. I did not like Oh, but that here's match. the thing. What? He will get a match, Kurt Angle. Yeah, you said that. Yes. He'll be facing Baron Corbin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if he win, if Kurt Angle wins, <laughs> he's back as GM of Raw. He's got my vote. Mm-hmm, I do too. That said, that's the end of Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen. It ended on that note, right? Did yeah. I miss anything? No, you did. Let's move on to SmackDown Live. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, these episodes are featured in... Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. I'm trying to remember. Uh, what was Monday and Tuesday? What's the date? Mon- okay, Monday was the 5th. Tuesday was the 6th. So, November 5th and 6th edition of... Raw and SmackDown reviews from us, the he- two members of the Heaven Monsters podcast crew. Let's get on with the SmackDown. In which case, if I remember correctly, it started off with Paige calling out Shane McMahon to congratulate him and get some photos of the title and then make their choice to for team captain of SmackDown Survivor Series. In which case, like I was saying... Shane was really holding on to that title, oh, oh, but here's that the trophy. Thing. Here's the thing. Hey. How is it going to work between Shane and me, man, and Paige? Because we, it, it's been uh, taught Shane Man's going to turn heel. In which? He's going to use the words, doing what I do is what's best for business. And I hope not. Don't use those words. Don't use those words. Heel. Don't say business. Wait. Don't say best for business. Don't. Come up with something else, please. But he could, because, you know... Not that, that shit again. Him and Stephanie are a, lot, are a lot like their father. True. Yeah. Well, I'm just hoping he comes up with a better saying than best for business. Come on. Otherwise, the captains were decided. And by that, I mean plural. They first decided to make the captain for SmackDown Survivor Series... Daniel Bryan, because of his level-headedness and overall equalness and competitiveness. At least that's, my, that's what I think. Mm-hmm. Then you have, of course, The Miz coming out not happy about it one bit. Not only did he not get the chance to win the Best in the World Cup, and was kind of robbed of it because of his ankle injury, mm-hmm. in which he was limping a little, mm-hmm. a little, he was also wanting to be captain instead of Daniel Bryan. In which case, he got his he got what he wanted and not at the same time because quick little chap whispering in each other's ears, Paige and Shane actually decided to make both Daniel Bryan and the Miz co-captains and both members of the SmackDown team in which case later they were kind of disagreeing and begging uh well mostly miz well, yeah. was uh, begging uh you want to say the miz didn't like that idea yep he wanted to be the, the co-captain not the, the not soul the, captain. Soul, well, the only captain soul captain the, yeah i'm saying only captain so only, that's the same thing yeah the soul only, isn't a word for plural yeah the only captain in, t- in team smackdown he didn't want to be co-captains with daniel Bryan. he just wanted to be the only captain that ego. The only head cheese. <laughs> and she smacked down. Somebody pop his freaking ego. But anyway, they both did agree on one thing. What was a mere gesture of a joke because of uh, him winning the Best in the World Cup, The Miz nominated Shane McMahon to be the third member of the team, in which Daniel Bryan. Couldn't believe he had to agree with it, but he did. 
Miz was shocked as well, including Shane, because he agreed that he wanted Shane because of how strong of a determination he wanted Team SmackDown to win. What better way than have him on the team like he did last year? Yeah, but Shane Man didn't want to do that at first. But then he agreed yeah. when both Daniel Bryan and The Miz agreed on something. Yeah. And then they smiled at each other and said, and Daniel Bryan was like, hey. This <laughs> 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 that was how it was all night. They were actually agreeing too much with each other. Ultimately, the next match is, oh, what do we need here? First match of the night, really. 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 The New Day versus the Usos. The teams, captains, nominees were decided between those two. They have the most experience on SmackDown and the most fan, uh, what do you call it? Fan popularity. How about fan say? Favorite. Thank you. That's even better. It was the Usos that ended up winning the whole thing. Respect was given, respect was earned, and ultimately the Usos said they wanted those two, those three to be a part. The Usos and the New Day will be two of the five teams fighting for Team SmackDown tag team Survivor Series match. But, you know, if this could, this, uh, as soon as they move to, to Fox Sports Network, it's this will probably be the end of New Day's jokes doing jokes ever again. Wait, wait, wait. Cause, we have to see. No, because here's the thing Fox Sports Network said to Oh, and Rod don't even got their tag teams yet, do they? Yeah, AOP. No, no, no. I don't mean tag team champions. I mean the tag team Survivor Series team. No, no, no. Yeah. No, here's what I'm saying about, yeah, here's what I'm saying about saying. Fox Sports <laughs> Network. They said that they better make their decision because uh, that they don't uh, agree to what they said about they need to uh, cut with all the jokes. That's what makes uh, WWE fun. Yeah, but if you if you if you're gonna move if you're gonna make a deal with them. And what the hell is Fox talking about? What the hell is up with their what was it Saturday or Sunday lineup with the freaking Family Guy, Simpsons, no, uh, no, no, TV no, no, show, no, about, uh, American about, Dad, no, I'm not about Bob's Fox. Burgers. I'm not talking about Fox. Not about what Fox. the? I'm talking about Fox Sports. There's no Fox Sports. Don't they show those shows on no, the freaking? No, 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 no that's, that's different. And Archer, bro, I love Archer. Bro, there's two different. There's four different Fox. <laughs> there's four different Fox networks. Yeah. Fox Sports is when they show like the UFC, basketball, football, and baseball. Okay, next on the list then. They, they said that <laughs> um, so finish. They said that they better make they better come up with they better uh make their decision about making that about uh, what they just told them to do. Make it more aggressive. Yeah, make it more aggressive. Oh, we but, might make it PG fourteen. Yeah, make it cut out with don't do more jokes. But they want them to be serious. Or maybe some dirty jokes. Mm-hmm. Okay, next. 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 Right. Next. Next. Okay, okay, here's the thing with the... Uh, what? Backstage, the Miz on the phone, and he says they are on one week away from the release of Marine 6. Oh, yeah, he wanted to be on a talk show. Yeah, have a good night. Have a good night. See you Monday. Have a good night. He wanted to be on a talk show, and they wanted mm-hmm. <laughs> Becky Lynch mm-hmm. because she was a villain of the story in the movie. I'm sure they didn't watch Shawn Michaels. <laughs> and the Miz is shocked that they want Becky. Yeah, Miz exactly. says he has to get back to them. <laughs> He's not happy about that. And Dan walks in and asks if there are any problems. Yep. Daniel says that he picked the Rey Mysterio. The Miz says Rey is a future Hall of Famer, but since he returned, he has done nothing. And he pointed out that he beat Shizuke Nakamura. Mm-hmm. He beat uh, this person. And he beat you, the Miz. And he's like, well, that was a fluke. Mm-hmm. So he has him fight Randy Orton, right? Mm-hmm. And Rey Mysterio got the win. And ultimately got jumped by Randy Orton, but still got the win. And he's an official member of Team SmackDown. So we got five, four people right there and then. 
And then after that, they made their choice. They picked Daniel Bryan came up with his idea from his time with the, as general manager. Said, "I picked two people. One person, you picked the other." His was Jeff Hardy, and uh, the Miz was Samoa Joe. Both good picks, mm-hmm. despite what the Samoa Joe. But Samoa Joe did jump Daniel Bryan, and mm, Daniel Bryan didn't forget that. Mm-hmm. Anything else, or was it the match in general? The end of the night. And, and they both, uh, uh, Miz agrees and says, this is awkward. Yep. Again. Yeah, this is awkward. <laughs> and here's another one. And commercial. We are back with the, the look at Ronda Rousey's response on Raw to Becky Lynch's comments from last week's SmackDown. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what we did mention. Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey exchange words on their representing shows. Next. Because we're almost out of time. We're on okay. the 31 mark. Becky Lynch uh, makes her way to the ring. Oh, the get, get, get. We just mentioned that. Okay, okay, okay. I'll mention Mixed Match Challenge on the next video. Oh, oh and uh, she uh, makes her way to the ring to wrestle. Yeah. Sanity makes its triumphant return, but not as a three-man group. The full team, Nikki Cross, officially on SmackDown. And fought uh, Becky Lynch and lost and tapped out. Yeah. Next, got that going for her right now. Uh, uh, made her point. Rey Mysterio versus Andre Cyan Almas. Yep. Oh, that's who we fought. He didn't fight Ray. Uh, Randy Orton jumped him after that match. After Rey Mysterio won that match. Yeah. And then uh, next was it the uh, Samoa Joe versus eight, uh, Jeff Hardy? Okay, the match. Well, yeah, Samoa Joe versus Jeff Hardy. In which case, Samoa Joe wins that match by putting. Jeff Hardy to sleep, and it escalated bad to the point that nobody knows what's going on. Because Samoa Joe got in Dan, uh, uh, Brian's face, Miz trying to tell him to calm down, but he can't. And they go and fight. Everybody's trying to get Daniel Bryan to calm down. Miz got punched in the face because you know they still got beef. He didn't forget. Mm-hmm. He didn't forget them. He did. and he even attacked Shane McMahon. He saw, he didn't see Shane McMahon behind him, but he, uh, Judo flipped him. And he walks off in the ring, and everybody's questioning what is happening with Daniel Bryan. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to end this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Hit that subscribe button if you like the content. Hit that bell for the next video. Peace out, y'all. Bye.